Doko demo switch. Switch Easy Power Pack. The world's first charge and play anywhere case for Nintendo Switch. All right. I guess I'll review it. Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a rather interesting case for the Nintendo Switch, which was sent to me by Switch Easy. They also sent me this snazzy t-shirt, which says Doko Demo Switch, which is basically like anywhere Switch. And that's kind of the point of this case. They call it the world's first charge and play anywhere case. It is the power pack for the Nintendo Switch. It's pretty strange, but it's a neat idea. Basically, the whole point of this case is that it's supposed to be able to carry your own external battery. This does not come with an external battery for the Switch. It's supposed to carry that battery and the Switch so you can charge your Switch while you have it in the case. And you can also use this as a dock for your Switch and charge your Switch while it's on this dock and play. So it's pretty ambitious, has a pretty interesting design. I just thought we'd check it out and I'll tell you what I think about it. So let's take a closer look at the Power Pack by Switch Easy. All right, the Power Pack by Switch Easy. Now they sent me, along with this, a link to a Kickstarter campaign that they were running, but that is already closed now. But they do have a website where you can pre-order this. It seems like it's still in pre-production, so if you are interested, I will put a link in the description box below. You can pre-order for $29.99. There are several different colors available. This is the red and sort of off-whitey gray. They also have a black, and then they have an orange and yellow version. But let's pop this baby open. I'll show you what this case is. Let's see if I can pull it out of here. hi yeah. There we go. So, this is kind of strange. Let me just show you how this is supposed to work. The whole idea of this case is that you take an external battery like this. This is my big old anchor power bank. And you slide it through these straps in the back. Ugh. And it'll accommodate most uh, batteries. This is a fairly large battery. They also have the strap on the back where ostensibly you could put a Joy-Con grip if you wished. I guess it would be more appropriate like that. And I guess you could include the Joy-Cons on there if you wanted. So you could be carrying up to four Joy-Con with the Joy-Con from your actual Switch inside as well. I don't know if I would be very pleased having these riding on the outside without any sort of protection. So if you just wanted to bring the grip with you and then use the Joy-Con that are on your Switch, you can do that. We'll talk about the ergonomics of this a little bit later. And then you have a pouch like this where there's a little mesh pouch. There is a USB-A to USB-C cable and it actually has an L end to it. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. But the Switch... Oh, and also they have these memory card holders. There's seven game card slots. As you can see, open window design, which I kind of like. Sort of like Molly webbing. Some of you military people out there. Um, I can't get these up. Ugh. These ostensibly would hold micro SD cards for your Switch, if you wished. And then your Switch would slide in Ugh. like so. 
and close like so. And here's your package. This is what you'd be carrying around. So, it's a little bit, it's a little bit clunky. Um, this material here is sort of a nylon. It's not super thick, it's not super plush. If I had this sort of sandwiched all together like this with the Joy-Con grip, my power bank, and my switch inside, I would not like the idea of this being compressed in a bag, clanging around in a bag. It just doesn't feel super protective to me. But let's say you're not taking the Joy-Con grip with you, which I probably would not do, and you just have it like this. It's a little more streamlined, but again, you've got this big flap here, um, because basically the docking portion of this case is sort of a, a harder plastic and that protrudes quite a bit from the case itself. So you have a really kind of bulgy, lumpy profile, not very sleek. But if we use this the way the case is intended, and again, it just doesn't feel like this is very well protected, especially the, the sticks for the Joy-Con. I don't like how they're just right at the surface. Eh, I don't know. Immediately when I got this and I started playing around with it, and I did carry this around with me for a little while, I didn't feel super confident in the protection that it could offer. And I wasn't going anywhere where I was, you know, throwing it in a bag and clanking it around or anything, and I was able to be careful with it, but it totally depends on what your daily routine is like, your commute and everything. But anyway, you have this USB-C cable, and ostensibly what you would do, let me turn this around, you could plug this in to the back of your power bank. This one actually has a USB-C out, which would be nice because this is USB-A to USB-C. So if you actually got your own cable, of course you would want this little L-shaped socket on the end. I don't know if you'd be able to find that or not. USB-C to C, you would charge way quicker than the A to C. But anyway, you put the A end in there, you shove one end. This is gonna be interesting. Ugh. There's a little hole where you can shove the other end of the cable through, and then it comes out into the case itself. And if you wish, you can charge your switch while it's in the case. So I guess it would make more sense to go like this. Now, one thing they mentioned, they have a little insert here. They say, after thorough testing, we found that the Nintendo Switch will turn on its monitor when it detects power plugged in. When the monitor is turned on, trickle charging the switch from your external battery may not work. The workaround is to completely turn off the switch while the charging cable is plugged in with your external battery. But I haven't, I don't think that's the case. Because it, it'll turn on the screen for a minute when you switch it on, but then the screen turns off again. So I don't really think that's an issue, but if you wanted to, I guess you could plug it in and then turn off your switch. Um, make sure, actually, you know what? It's not really charging, so let me check that. Um, because I haven't turned on my external battery. So here you see, <laughs> I'm trying to cram this in here with the cable. There's not a lot of room. The cable's kind of long, so it sort of gets in the way. I'm trying to cram this in here. Ugh, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel good to me to have that in there like that. Okay, actually it is charging. Um, and my switch screen is not on. So I think that's fine if you want to do that. So you can charge in the case if you wish. But let's say you get somewhere and you want to play your switch ugh, on the go with a dock. I don't know how well you can see that, but there is a little ugh, slot cut out there where you can place the USB-C end of the charging cable like so. So it comes out the top. And then you could fold this over. Your power bank is underneath. And then you're supposed to take your kickstand and that would rest here. There's even a little slot for it so it's not supposed to move. And then you plug your switch into this dock. So you have to actually kind of put your finger underneath it because if you just try to plug it in, it will push it out. And you plug it in like that and you let it rest on the kickstand. Ostensibly without the kickstand, it might stay up. 
but you've got a very kind of wonky, kind of, it just doesn't feel completely secure. I don't like the idea that there is a socket plugged into the bottom of my switch that isn't really rigid. So if I knock this over, if I jerk this around and jostle it around, I could imagine that socket getting bent inside, damaging the internal part of the USB-C socket on my switch. The whole thing just doesn't give me very much confidence. I mean, it works, I guess. We take the Joy-Con off. We could use our grip, which we were carrying on our case. Let's see here. Let's see if we can turn this baby on. Hello. Ugh. Yeah. Yep. So here we go. We've got Zelda. We're playing it. We're on a dock. We're charging while we're playing. Um, you can see the little charging indicators going there. With this battery, this particular battery, this anchor battery, has enough juice to charge the switch while you're playing if it's connected with USB-C from the battery and USB-C into the switch. When it's USB-A uh, to C, Eh, you might not get a full charge while you're doing it, but that's not really what this is. This review is about. It's just talking about this case itself. I don't know, gang. I just don't, I don't love it. I don't feel confident in it. I don't feel confident in its ability to protect the switch. I don't like the idea of sandwiching all these different layers together, the battery, then the switch and the Joy-Con all together. It just feels like there's gonna be a lot of crushing together, even though there's fabric that's sort of protecting it. It's not very thick. I think this solution is just a little bit wonky to me. It just doesn't seem very stable. It doesn't feel very secure, but it does work. I have to say it does what it says it would do. I just don't know if it does it very elegantly. So there you have it. The Power Pack by Switch Easy, a charge and play anywhere case for the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, it's a good idea, but I just don't know that it was implemented as well as it could be. I'm not completely in love with the materials, the craftsmanship. It seems a little flimsy, and the whole docking interface just seems kind of wonky to me. And I can't really see myself needing this very much. I mean, I've had a Switch now for months and months, I guess over six months now. And I personally have never been in the situation where I absolutely need to charge and dock my Switch at the exact same time while I'm on the go playing it. I could see maybe if you're someone who takes a lot of very long airplane rides, this could be something you, wanted to, you might wanna look into, but I don't know. I think there are other alternatives that are better, just standalone Switch stands that allow you to charge. Because if you're carrying an external battery with you, I don't think that it necessarily needs to be in the case. But if it's something that you find interesting, like I said, the Kickstarter failed, I guess, but they do have a website that I'll link to in the description box below where you can pre-order this case if you're interested. $29.99 US, several different colors available. Maybe it's something you'd wanna try out. For me personally though, I just don't think it's necessary. But there you go, the Power Pack by Switch Easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. And this has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.